an extraordinary example of how civilization might be in the 25th century, where sustaining a population of tens of millions is made possible by innovative processes. Like these skyscraper farms, each vertical greenhouse contains a diverse assortment of produce and can provide enough food to sustain a whole district. In Asianopolis, food scarcity will be a thing of the past. And it was mankind's ingenuity in the 21st century that could bring food production to such grand heights. With a land area of just 716 square kilometers and a population of more than 5 million, Singapore is one of the densest countries in the world. With so little space, large-scale food production is not something the country can afford. In terms of food security, Singapore would like to produce as much food as we can locally. However, with the available farmlands, we can only produce about 7% of the vegetable supply to Singapore. With a rapidly increasing population, this is not enough to ensure the country's food resilience in the future. In the 1980s, the government tried to maximize yields by introducing intensive agro-technology farms. High-tech methods such as hydroponic and aeroponic farming were applied. But even with these farms, Singapore still struggles to generate a sustainable supply of produce. Inventor Jack Ung is determined to change this, and his solution is to go upwards, where space is limitless. In Singapore, our land is limited. If we want to produce our own products, we must go up, just like our vegetables. Jack used to be a construction engineer, but after almost 30 years in the industry, he called it quits to pursue a higher calling. My wife asked me, are you sure? Every person's eyes are a poor person. Life is not supposed to be the most important thing. So I hope that when I retire, I can build a system to build a system so that we can have a safe and safe and safe and safe. 更稳定的蔬菜来源。呃，我觉得这一代如果我们不做的话，我们下一代要面对的问题，他们会很辛苦。It took Jack two years to develop his solution, the Agogro system, a high yield and highly compact vertical farming tower. 目前你所看到的这一个九米的系统，它层层次次的这样排上来。而这个整个系统里面，这个是三十八啊层，它跟平地比起来，它可以生产的产量是十倍。But Jack discovered that while stacking vegetables upwards increased yields, it brought along a host of other problems. Growing vegetables vertically meant each layer would receive different amounts of sunlight, requiring artificial lighting, and bringing plants higher off the ground meant water would need to be pumped up to them. Jack did not want such an energy-intensive system. His farm had to be sustainable and cost-effective. His solution was simple. Rotation. Bring the vegetables to what they need instead of the other way around. Key to this system is a unique energy-saving feature. Jack's patented water pulley system. This is our system. 我们这个用水来拉动整个这个铁链，这个铁链把我们的这个呃整个 A 型的旋转系统，把这个蔬菜带向上面，拿到阳光。Every plant can reach the top of the tower and receive adequate sunlight. Each tower only needs half a liter of water and a small amount of electricity to rotate completely. And instead of pumping water up. The vegetables are brought down to a water trough. Our water 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 is left in the water trough to let our vegetables be used. Compared to conventional farming, there is little runoff with this method, 